Okay, one, two, three. Hello everyone, another fantastic, magical morning. And today, we're gonna play another standard event, trying to farm some packs and gems. And in my heart, I do love midrange, but there's a little piece of me that just love controlling the format. So today, we're gonna play Azorius. Let's go straight to the deck list. Okay, so this is the deck we're gonna play today, and it's a good old-fashioned control. The main win condition is going to be Jace, the Perfected Mind. We don't play the Emperor, we just play with this Planeswalker as a win condition, and also potentially winning with our Flying lands, just hitting them in the face. Or, you know, the token from Sunfall. But it's a very, very painful deck to play against. We do have, you know, tons of removal, get lost. We have, of course, a Soul Partition, which can remove all. And then we play, you know, uh, eight uh, board wipes just to make the opponent really, really sad. Now, there's some new cards. So we do play with Mana Leak or No More Lies. It's Azorius Mana Instant. Counter target spell unless it's controlled, pay three. If the spell is countered this way, exile it. So it's really good against the opponent who's playing Azorius, which I'm sure we're gonna face, who has, for example, Memory Deluge, then you just wanna get rid of it. And yeah, besides that, we also have a new board wipe. No witnesses allowed. Four mana sorcery. Uh, destroy all creatures and the player with the most creatures get a clue token, which I think is better than, you know, depopulate. I don't really... They're, they're, if you, uh, The Celestian Shaman decks is popping up here and there and I don't want to give them cards when I wipe the board. Besides that, it's very simple. Uh, we just try to control the board and survive against uh, Mon Red using, you know, Sunset Revelry and all the removals. And then we just mill them out. And keep in mind, you know, Soul Partition, which is a cool uh, spell to, you know, first of all, delay the opponent by exhaling their creatures or non permanents, but you can use it on your own spells without getting the tax. So if you play Jace out, you melt for four, minus four, and then you play Soul Partition at the end of the opponent's turn on Jace, you get it back to your hand, and then you do it again, and the opponent essentially concedes. Yeah, that's essentially it. I am actually very, very fond of the new <laughs> the Surveillance. It really helps you against the Shuffler in Standard Event Best of One uh, format. So yeah, with that being said, let's go ahead and, you know, drive someone insane by controlling them to the bone. Alright, let's get started. As always, if you have any questions about the deck or the gameplay, please don't hesitate to ask me in the comments below. You know I love to hear from you and it helps the video out. And if you enjoy my content, please like the video. It does help the algorithm on YouTube quite a bit. And yeah, let's start the first game. Alright, we get to go first, and this hand is not the greatest, but eh, it's fine. We have at least untapped lands on turn two, so we can get our treasure map out. So Chief, okay, so potentially a mirror? We'll see. Okay, nothing, so maybe mono blue. Let's see if they have a spell pierce. I mean, if you're facing mono blue, I mean, treasure map could be really good here gonna be a lot of staring like who's gonna it's like it's a game of chicken and the one who goes first is gonna be the one who loses so consider consider these nuts <laughs> that's terrible okay so probably impulse at the end of his turn and we already have i mean yeah we just need some counter spells and that's really it we do have you know normal no more lies somewhere in the deck that is gonna be to our advantage sure we can play impulse we don't care but due to the fact we're playing Azorius, I'm sure this player is going to be a little bit hesitant to throw out his Jin, mainly because you know he doesn't want us to counter it. So he's probably going to leave. He's probably going to do it on turn five. Maybe if, if he's uh, uh, daring, he can do it on turn four. Hey, we found it. No more lies. And yeah, we'll just hold it for now. Pass the turn. If he doesn't do anything, we'll play Memory Deluge. Okay, Thirst. I think that's worth countering, if I'm honest. Nope. Psych. <laughs> Remain thirsty, asshole. Oh, you think you have counter spells? Just you wait. I have probably not as many, but I know when to use them. Okay, consider, sure. And there's a gen without any mana open. Well, we're in no hurry then, are we? We can use a treasure map and react to it next turn. We can then use, you know, a soul partition. They're not that good without Jays. Um, <laughs> no more lies. Uh, I think I want to hold. I want to exile it and then counter it if he tries to play it out again. 
because it will take his entire turn to play it out. Then we just counter it and we scry one more time with treasure map. Plus, remember, we have more mana than you think. We're going to have uh, two more mana. So we technically have five here. So if I counter this and he uses uh, make disappear. Sometimes foreshadowing is relatively obvious. We can activate the treasure map and pay for it. Maybe he doesn't see that. Maybe he can't read anything that's not blue. Okay, so he did it. All right, so we just activate you. Problem is we're going to lose two treasures, but it's fine. Uh, we don't really need you. And we pay for it. And it's gown. <laughs> All right. So I think we just deluge here, try to find land. Uh, no more lies is really good. Sunset Railway is going to be pretty terrible. Let's just go with this. So if he places Jin here, we're just going to counter it. Nice. I don't think he has spell pierce. Easy. Now let's just go ahead and draw a card because Treasure Cove is that good. All right, we have all the board wipes. Maybe we went a little bit too heavy on the board wipes, who knows? Uh, might as well cast this now. What do we want here? Jace to win. Get lost is pretty good too. Uh, so we'll keep these. That's fine. He finally can play his spells. So the only thing we're waiting for now is the Tolarian Terrors, which we are going to destroy with no witness. I mean, he could find his other gens, of course. Impulse, sure. So no gen this turn. I don't know why he's doing it. I mean, maybe he's looking for a land. Why would he do it at this, like now? Strange. So Jay's coming out and we're going to use you for sure tap properly and we're gonna mill him for a little bit here and draw some cards actually how much does he have 39 maybe it's better to just go minus four here because you I mean you can do this and oh god i think the, the, all the gins are gone now one no only three gins are gone one tolerant terrace. He has only four creatures left that are dangerous. I think we play a treasure map and start scrying again. You out. Surveil. That's really good. I'll keep you there. Well, already then. We'll keep it like this. Very important to hit your land drop, so we've been lucky in that aspect. Okay, seven mana. Flow knowledge. Draw seven cards. Sure. All right. And there's the terror, sure. Right, so this is a fun game of chess we're playing here. I was expecting more, you know, I mean, from the standard events I played so far, it was aggro, 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 aggro. But you know, I guess Mono Blue is still around. So we use you, mill the last three cards here. Perfect, and he's at 16, so yeah, we can just mill him out here. Uh, tap you, obviously. Don't miss, don't mess this up. And then just mill him for 15 cards. He can kill us in two turns, the game is over. Yeah. All right, the first game against Mono Blue felt pretty good. All right, we get to go first, and this hand is decent against Dark Chapa. El Chapo, but dark, which is fine. Let's get a fast land out and pass the turn. Let's see what you're playing, Dark Chapa. Okay, so probably Celestia. It uh, doesn't matter, we're gonna play out a treasure map and, well, hopefully survive until we play Farewell. And as we have, when we have played Farewell, the game is essentially over. Uh, and the naturalist is going to, oh, Azusa? Okay, never mind. Maybe this is what? Celestia Ramp? That's a deck I tried to make, but it never worked out. Uh, so, um, we're just gonna hold here. I have no idea. Because now, since he gained the life, uh, we're gonna get another mode of Sunset Revelry. Okay. Square Companion is fine. If it tries to target it with Audacity, we'll kill it. Weaver of Harmony. Is that worth killing? I think it is. And well, let's go ahead and draw. I mean, Scry. 
Uh, we don't need you. We already have land in our hand. Uh, so we can play Sunset Revelry here. And Scry, that's essentially it. We could hold a Gainjo, but I don't really care about taking damage. Since we're all playing Sunset Revelry, it is nice to hit all the modes. Two mana, game for life, two tokens and draw a card is insanely good. And now we have mana for Treasure Map as well. And we're only two turns away from Farewell, just essentially winning the whole game. Okay, that's pretty frustrating. Calyx is cool. I prefer the Planeswalker though. Does he have Audacity? He does. So hopefully he doesn't put the counter on the companion. He does. God damn it. So what we're gonna have to do here, we're gonna have to double block the companion. Because um, the, the damage gonna go through is it's gonna trigger Calyx. I don't want him to copy the companion and draw another card. That's not good. So we're actually gonna trade our two tokens here. It's fine. I'm glad I didn't put all the to all the counters on it because that would have been horrible for us. It was a misplay on the opponent's side. Calyx is such a good card. Let's go ahead and keep on scrying. Let's put a stop also. See what we get here. Ah, Deluge. I really want Deluge. Ah, I can't. I don't think I can. Fuck it, let's do it. Uh, right. So we draw it. We can land, scry, have enough mana for farewell and win. Oh, get rid of everything. We're gonna waste some treasures though, which is a... Sh oh, oh my god. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna keep that, obviously. Uh... So I think we just go ahead and honestly, four, seven, ten. With, uh, with, um, oh, what's a saga? Can we take this? I think we can. We might go down to, we can take one, two, three, four, four, seven, ten, eight, nine, probably ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. Okay, so. Okay, so that's the only spell it's gonna cast. Thank God for no more lies. Sure. And that's the one. Michiko Strain of Truth. We cannot let him... Um, we can't have him do that. Nope. So we're gonna take 5, 9, 13 damage. We go, down, we go down to 9. Unless he has another Audacity, of course. Then we Sunfall, I think. Let him draw with his Audacities. Okay. And then we just exile everything with farewell. And we should get rid of Calyx here. Honestly, let's just do it. And this just, I feel good um, some falling this board. He gets a card and that's it. Okay, uh, we can draw a card with you. God, I love treasure map. It's my favorite card, I think. One of them for the, on the in the control decks. And we just some fall this. Then we have Farewell next turn, we draw another card. It's pretty good. Yep, you get one card. We already know what it is. And yeah, we survive and we win with Jace and that's it. They are pretty good at drawing cards, so it shouldn't be too hard to mill them out in the end. Okay. Uh, land is good. We could Farewell here. Or we get greedy. And draw first of the treasure cove. See if we can get here. We could farewell this and we should, I guess. Yeah, I can't be. I mean, at 12 life, they can't kill me. That's a chance. So next turn we can Celestia's Memory Day Illusion and hold mana for Soul Petition. They never run out of stuff. You never, you'll never get a chance to breathe against these matchups. Okay, another Kami. Kept on top, sure. Okay, my turn. So we can play Celestas. If you soul petition, we can choose. Do you want the tokens or do you want the cards, right? Uh, tap you, of course. So I think we do this. We just want him. We just want to um, delay him as much as we can. And I think we go with Sunset Reveler here. Four life draw card. It's fine. Um, play out and we can flip the incubator token at the end of his turn. 
Yeah, but Soul Petition, I, I mean, that's a card that came out a couple sets ago, and some have forgotten it, but it's such a good... It's such a good card. It really grinds, you know, brings the opponent's pistol boil. So let's get you another Deluge. I mean, I feel like it's telling me what to do. We're not gonna attack. We're gonna play Deluge. Hopefully we're tapping you, obviously. I don't know why MTG Arena doesn't want me to tap it. <laughs> and oh my god, dude. Lies, Sunfall. There's just no way he's gonna... Yeah. We will not die to this opponent. And it's very, I, I do give Dark Chapa some kudos here. Because I, if I was in this situation, I would have conceded a long time ago. Okay. Circle of Confinement, sure. Alright. Plays you out. Fair. I'm not gonna counter that. I'm just gonna exhale them both with some fall. And then uh, hold normalize. Straw. Okay. Uh, I think we need to actually have a win condition here besides Jace. So let's get the Anchorage. Ah, <laughs> there's Jace. So just XL you. We could use no witnesses. Uh, we can do it. It's fine. We need him to. We need to occupy him anyway. So let's play a Jace. Start milling him a little bit. And yeah, opponent's had enough. It's fine. It's fair. All right, opponent gets to go first in this hand. It's fine. We have land. We have a way to deal with the board. We have counter spells. No more lice is so much worse on the draw. <laughs> but whenever the opponent's ready, we'll give it a go. A few moments later. So, Goody, what are you playing, sir? No one has the mole. Okay, so we're playing against... Boros, probably the token deck, right? With War Leader's Call. And uh, it's, I don't feel too stressed about it. I mean, they can have a really, really explosive turn. But having a tap land was not one of it. <laughs> Doing that was really bad. Yeah, it's the token deck. That's fine. Uh, yeah, as long as... I mean, yeah. I, I already feel pretty safe since they were playing very slowly. They kept a hand that wasn't that strong. When well, neither did we, did we but, uh, you know. Come on. Come on. It is, uh, it's Azorius. Okay. Uh, I don't think we should counter that. I'd rather save the counter spell for his War Leader's Call, but we can get rid of this. I know the opponent is hating that. Okay, and we have, yeah, two board wipes. What is he gonna do? We can counter, board wipe, board wipe, memory deluge, we find our answers, right? Cool, Skrull, added to the pile of corpses. <laughs> Gleeful Demolition. Sure. Sure, just you. Yeah, build your board paint. Do it. Do it. Okay, so maybe we should have... <laughs> That's fine, we'll just board wipe everything. We can have two, we can have two creatures here. He can't, he can't draw lands, so it's fine. But we probably should have countered uh, the Knight Iron to be us. That was kind of a mistake. I'm kind of cocky here. Let's just get rid of it all. See if he got his land. But hey, you can use your clue token to try to find it. Okay. Alright, that's it. I don't really... That's fair. Uh, we'll just deluge. If he really charged into me and deals some damage, we're not going to really care. Okay. Bonicorn is fine. And reinforcement is fine as well. Yeah, 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 we'll take some damage here. Sure. But you know, when the opponent sees Deluge, they're gonna, you know... Oh, that was not the best Deluge, but it's fine. Uh, Revelry is pretty good, too. We'll just wipe this and hold uh, No More Lies in case he plays out his uh, uh, Whirler's Call. <laughs> Bunnycorn, get out of here. Okay. Ooh. <laughs> Sunfall, dude. Uh, I mean, we're in no hurry to do it. You can play Revelry, gain some life, play you out. We can't draw the card, unfortunately. It's not possible. We can use Sunset Revelry and we can use Deluge, essentially. Which is fine. 
Let him com commit a little bit more to the board before I cast a Sunfall. Okay. Nothing. It doesn't even attack. I guess it values his tokens a little bit more than I value mine. Okay. Well, he committed more to the board. Uh, Jace is nice. We don't need more, though. We're not gonna... I don't think we're gonna win with Jace. It's a high chance we're gonna win with the Sunfall token. <laughs> Farewell. Alright. Are ready to uh, say sayonara to your board opponent? Sayonara. And he's had enough. Yeah. And then we just beat him to death with the 7-7. Seven, seven. All right, opponent gets to go first again. We've been on the draw quite a bit, huh? Uh, again, hopefully we're playing as aggro. We have Sunset. We have no witnesses. I haven't seen a single domain deck, which is kind of strange. And it looks like... Oh, Survey Lands. I love them. Uh, and you can go away. We don't need more tap lands, I think. Yeah, so another <laughs> enchantment deck. I don't know why we're getting matched with these. I guess there are not a lot of people who play Azorius. So I guess that makes sense. So fast land out, and we're just going to hold here. I would like to counter Ajuka Naturalist. They are not fun to play against. And he's going to have to uh, play the Visitor. Sure, we don't really care about that. It's only... A uh, we are going to get rid of that. No more lands for you. <laughs> lands, I mean cards, sorry. Um... So I guess we just go with... Uh, I mean, we don't want to have a dead turn. Actually, we should have played the Restless Anchorage. Uh, that was stupid. A guy, we could have Gyndra him. Sunset Revelry gives us four life and two tokens. Uh, then again, Sunset is not going to do so well against the Audacity. I think we go with Sunset Revelry. We're going to board wave next turn anyway, right? Yeah, there's an Duke of Naturalist. At least he can't play Audacity. But he can't play uh, the the Saga, which is painful. Yeah, there it is. They always have it. Sadly, you don't have Trample, mate. Sure. Lock here. And... I mean, if we're going to board wipe, might as well, you know, take less damage. It's nice to go below 20 life, so we can get the 4 life from the... <laughs> uh, Sons of Revelry. Doesn't matter. Let's just go ahead and wipe everything here. What you done? The next turn, rest his anchorage into memory deluge. He wastes the chapter of his uh, saga. Sure. You know the opponent hates this game, right? And I hate playing against less enchantments, so I honestly have zero empathy for this guy. We're getting all the revelries, which is kind of cool. So we're just going to deluge. What is he doing? Oh, I don't think you know what you're doing, opponent. Sure, you get to transform it twice, but you don't. Get, you're not copying. That's fucking stupid. Come on, dude. Come on. All right, he essentially gave me a turn for free. What is he not having? Okay, so we have Sunfall. No witnesses or Jace, uh, or land. These are all valuable options. Uh, I think we go with no witnesses. We get all the lands anyway. Look. No problem. I mean, should we just wait? Sunset Revelry, Revelry and play Memory Deluge? We only get one mode with Sunset Revelry, but come on. What, what else do you want? The opponent is playing terribly. I don't feel the need to play Suns, uh, Sunfall here. I'd rather just get some tokens out and play Deluge. We could also activate the land. <laughs> if, you really, if the opponent's not seeing it. So, 5 mana, what you got? Audacity, sure. 6 damage. Why does not attack? Why not? He thinks I have the Emperor. No, opponent, I don't have the Emperor. Are you getting severely punished for doing that? Farewell, oh my god, dude. This poor player. Ugh. I'm just taking all the board wipes. Taking all the time we need. I mean, might as well. What are you gonna do, mate? Nothing saves them. Away with you. 
Yeah, and we can flip to 4 4. We can also, you know, I don't know, use our Akami. They don't run out of juice. They don't. Sure. And that's it. At least they're like careful with their cards. Might as well just do this. Get rid of this. <laughs> Make him have his roll token. What's it called? The protection spell. He actually does have it. Oh my god, dude. He said this. I mean, man. He's, he's hanging on to the cliff really tight here, dude. I mean, we just get rid of it. <laughs> if you play that, you don't play Tamiya's safekeeping. Sacked with you. Okay, that's it. It was a good game. All right, I'm going to show you the rest of the games uh, without my voiceover. We're just going to speed it up with some music in the background for you guys who want to see how all the games turned out in the standard event. Uh, otherwise, I'm going to talk to you in the outro about the deck, what I think about it and the changes I want to make to it. Uh, with that being said, enjoy some good games and uh, otherwise I'll see you later. Enjoy!
Alright, we got 6 wins, I mean I'll happily take it. Azorius is as strong as it gets. And uh, yeah, I don't really know what else to say about the deck. It, it just If you're on the draw and you have only tap lands, you lose. And that was really all there is to it. Uh, I felt really strong. We should really put in uh, the Emperor. Because Emperor plus Sunset Revelry can really help us again. So we're on the draw quite a bit and we won a lot of games on the draw still. I think we don't need, you know this many board wipes i think we do need to have um i think it's just the emperor honestly the emperor is just the best like if they don't respect the emperor uh, then we get to memory deluge right so do something like this i think i mean yes we don't play too many new cards here but 
it's Azorius is really, really fun to play. You can also go down on Jace, have just two copies and really, really just grind out the game and eventually they lose anyway. But uh, yeah, I would do something like this if I, if, I, if I were to play in a standard event again. Or, you know, yeah. And <laughs> if we didn't face a single mid-range deck really, so we really, we really didn't get to shine. And we were on the draw quite a bit against the aggro decks. But either way, the deck is really fun. I think Asuris is really strong. And with that being said, thanks so much for watching till the end. You rock. Like and subscribe. And... Have a good fucking time.